work a little bit more today on the uh, mid back. So go ahead and prepare for that. I hope that I have chosen a better room. It is not as um, it's it's not as echoing here as in the previous one. So this is what I have done. I've taken one of those blankets and I've made it kind of into this tube. So basically, should remind you of the um, roller that we use. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and start by sitting in front of it. My feet are flat. If you find that this position is a little too archy for your lower back, you can always scooch up and sit on top of it. Otherwise, right in front of it, and then you're going to go ahead and roll your spine on it, just like you would on the roller, okay? You're going to go ahead and bend your arms. They are 90 degrees, and then we're going to lay them on the floor. Now, um, I know some of you have shoulder injuries, so please make sure that you're very watchful and obviously you make adjustments. And in the meantime, relax your neck, the back of your head is on that blanket or towel or whatever it is that you're using. And we're very gently starting to lift our arms up along the, uh, the uh, floor. Nice and slow, a couple of three breaths, and then a couple of inches up. So stay here for about 40 seconds. And what I really want you to try and do, I'm going to turn off the music so that it does not interrupt the uh, voice. Um, what I really want you to do is find the space within which you feel a really, really yummy stretch here in between your shoulder blades. And please start to close your eyes and just absolutely fully relax here. We will use the blanket here several times today, so do not throw it away once you when we're once we're done with opening up. So we're going to start with opening up our mid back. We will do a couple of things today that very possibly um, you know you and I at least have never done together, but you may have done it with other instructors. Good. Take one more nice long inhale through your nose and exhale through your mouth. Very nice. Go ahead and straighten your legs now. Keep them wide enough apart to keep yourselves into a full balance. And two more breaths here just to settle into your spine. Rock your head gently side to side. So the back of your head is still on your blanket. One more time, please. Very nice. Excellent. So now, bend your left knee and lift it towards your chest. And very gently, shift that left leg side to side. Just a little bit. Just a tiny bit. A couple more times. You're really just activating your muscles and you should definitely feel them all around your hips. Very nice. Good. Place that left leg back on the floor. Remember, scooch up if you are not very 100% comfortable with your lower back. Right knee comes towards your chest and you're going to do the exact same thing. It's a small movement, it's almost like you're massaging. All through both your spine, between your shoulder blades, maybe around your tailbone. One more time. A little bit to the left, a little to the right. Very nice. And go ahead and release that. One more time. Opening up, stretch your arms all the way above your head if available. And point your fingertips away from your toes, just kind of waking up. I realize that you're fully awake because you probably have already worked out. Awesome. Good. Very gently roll off of that tool, whichever one you were using, and lift up. Good. So now we're going to round our backs 
And again, in a slightly different way. So we're going to go into child's pose. What I want you to do is grab this towel and place it right here. Right on the very top of your thighs. Bring the block so that you can rest the forehead on your block and you can rest your forearms on the floor. You will find your position. So go ahead and find it. And it may be a higher side of the block, and maybe the highest one, whichever one it is. What I really want you to feel is a nice relaxation in your spine and in your neck. And I want you not to arch your back. That is the function of that blanket and your towel tucked in into your hip flexors and under your belly. Three more breaths, please. In a way, I'm forcing you to breathe through your lungs, not through your belly here, because your belly is kind of pushed inward. And that should really fill the distance between the vertebra and the mid back. One last breath. Very nice. Go ahead and lift. And bring this block in front of you. You're very welcome not to use it. You don't need the blanket for this next one. You can either stretch your hands and keep them on the floor, which your way works for you. Tuck your toes, you're in a kneeling position. We are actually going to go ahead and arch our mid back. So once again, a couple of options here. You can go fully into extended arms. You can also, once again, place your forehead, but far enough where your hips are right above your knees and relax and just start to drop your chest down, feeling a nice extension right here between your shoulder blades and slightly lower. And alternatively, if you want to go all the way, you can place both of your hands on the block and drop your chest way below your arms. Whichever way you're ready to do it, it depends on how open you are. Five breaths here again, and then we're going to start moving a little bit more. Three more breaths, please. One more. Very nice. Go ahead and drop your elbows on the floor if they were not. Excellent. And then go ahead and move your body forward, bringing your forearms on the floor, we're dropping our tummy down. Our elbows are right under our shoulders. Then we're going to go ahead and go into cat and cow here. So go ahead and inhale and press your chest forward from your shoulders back. And exhale, round your back. Draw your shoulders up and chin in. And again, nice and long inhale, lifting through your chest, dropping and drawing shoulders down and back. And as an exhale, rounding your back. Three more times, just like that. Nice and long inhalation, hopefully through your nose. And long exhale. It seems like a very small movement, but in fact, it engages a lot of muscles, and all of them are through your mid and upper back. That's number four. And last one. Nice and long inhale. Strong, strong through your shoulders. And nice and long exhale. Last cat. Very nice. And from here, go ahead and open up, drop your chest down now so your belly is on the floor and everything is open. Lift your arms, both arms are at a V on both sides of your body. Beautiful. This should feel 
much more comfortable than otherwise it would be. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. One more breath, please. Neck is in line with your spine. Excellent. And place your hands on the floor by your chest. Roll your shoulders up, back and down. And start to lift up. And we are in tabletop position. Good. Right arm lifts. Hips are back, right above the knee. Left hand is right above under your left shoulder. We're going to go into this usual stretch, those three breaths. Really, remember, if you have really wide shoulders, please use the block to place your right ear on the block and find your first twist of the day. Move with your own body two more times, please. Two more breaths, sorry. Excellent. Coming back, reach that right arm one more time and actually drop it onto your lower back with just a, one more little squeeze here. Good. Right hand goes on the floor, left arm reaches up. Up, 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 up. Find the distance, find the space. Nice. And from here, left arm on the right. Lay our ear on the floor, on the blanket, or on the block. Three breaths. Beautiful. Lift up, start to use your core. And once again, left arm is going to come first all the way up. And then you're going to go ahead and drop it onto your lower back. This just helps us bring our left shoulder further back. One more breath, please. Awesome. Beautiful. All right. So go ahead and place folded blanket under your knees. I am really trying very hard here to open people, you, you people up before we start to move into a little bit more active yoga. So let's do something. Keep your hips nice and square, shoulders are back, chest is open. All of this should be quite comfortable. I need you to go ahead and step your left foot forward and then step it back. And again, same leg, forward, and step it back. One last time, step it forward, step it back. Let's do that on the other side. And I want you to observe first which side is easier, which side is more stable, and most importantly, what is happening to your shoulders and to your spine as you go through this little exercise. Three and three. Back to left. And I'm going to turn around so that you can see what I'm doing here. Rolling your shoulders up, back and down, placing both of your hands on that left thigh right around your knee. Please keep your hip right above your knee. Okay? We're going to go ahead and do cat and cow. And again, so you're pressing your hands into that left knee, bringing yourselves into cat and cow again. One last time, cat and cow. We're going to add a little bit of movement here. If you can, take your right toes and place them into the mat. This will help us add a little bit of that stretch. Come in into cat. Release that right arm if you can. Reach all the way to the left side of your body. And from here, we're going to go into cat, but at the same time, we're going to move our body forward, opening up our chest. Inhale and back into cat with a D. Exhale. Inhale and exhale. Round, round, round your back and lean into the left. One last time. Inhale and exhale. 
release that and left leg goes back and right foot steps forward and you're going to do the same thing here your hands are on the right thigh switch your hands if your right hand was on top the first time around make sure it's the left one and again inhale and with an exhale cat round your back shifting hips into perfect position here and opening up with an inhale and again exhale and inhale and exhale and inhale and now we're going to start adding a little bit more movement here so once again exhale into calf release your left arm reach it up and over to the right side of your body and inhale opening up arms are out you're in this beautiful stretch and again around your back left arm over to the right and once again come in one more time right hand on the knee rounding your back left arm over to the right side of your body and finally coming back out awesome coming back into the other position i'm going to rotate good place your hands on the floor keep this block once again right next to you and your toes are tucked in here you may need to use this block for balance because we're going to go into duck so what i need you to do is lift up your knees are no longer on the mat and once again you can take a full balance here or you can place your hands on the block and hang out with one or both hands on Good. Lifting up into chair pose and lifting up into mountain pose. I'm going to. Make some adjustments here with our video equipment. Okay. So we are now in mountain pose at the far end of the mat. If you need to soften your knees, if you're not quite ready, that's perfectly fine. Relax, open up, draw your arms. So actually we're going to do a little playing exercise here. So what I need you to do is grab your rib cage with both your hands. So your palms are facing down, you are between your thumb and the rest of your fingers, grabbing the rib cage and pressing it up. And then again, a little bit more. And then go ahead and bring your thumb right into your arms and press it all the way up. I hope you can feel it. Just a little manipulation, just a little oomph to open us up. All right, good. And now we're going to go ahead and drop down and relax. If you need to soften your knees here, please do. No worries at all. And otherwise, keep your legs nice and straight and clasp your hands. I need you to put them on the back of your head. Drop your elbows and very gently start to nudge your head down. Not forward, not towards your knees, but down. Very nice. And go ahead and release your arms all the way out. Bring them behind you, clasp them. And opening up through our shoulders. Beautiful. All right, warming up our legs. So go ahead and bring your feet, you'll turn your feet together, bend your knees, place your chest and the entire upper body on your thighs, with your shoulders back. Your arms are very active here. And so are your legs. Very nice. Release your arms, lift up through your chest, keep the block available just in case you need it for your balance. Lift up through your knees and sit back down into the duck. Beautiful. 
Once again, feel free to place your hands on that block and big deal. And from here, gently release your knees back on the blanket. This is where we started. All right, we're going to go into easy camel. Roll your shoulders back. Your hands are clasped. Go ahead and place them on the back of your head. And then just bring your head into your hands. Keep your toes tucked in if available. If they are tired, relax them. We feel. I want you to feel almost nothing in your lower back. I want you to gently shift your hips forward and just fall into this. You should feel really good. And now I want you to gently rotate with your right arm coming down and left arm coming up. Come to the center with an inhale. And left, 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 down, right arm up. Beautiful. Come back to the center. See if you can drop your head a little bit further in as natural as possible. Awesome. Now from here, release your arms, drop your hips down, but not all the way. Slide your hands once again, all the way forward. Beautiful. So from here, we're going to go into the rabbit. So what you're going to do, you are in a kneeling position. Your hips are sitting on your knees. I'm sorry, <laughs> on your heels. The bench is sitting on you. And you're going to drop your forehead. Hopefully you don't have anything, uh, no clips on the top of your head. You're going to drop your forehead as close to your knees as possible. If you cannot place your forehead on your knees, that's okay, don't worry. Just find it long distance. And place it on the floor if you need it. Reach back with your hands and see if you can grab your ankles or even your feet. Really depends on how long your arms are and you know how you how comfortable you are with it. And then from here, you're going to start to raise your hips up, and you're going to start to press your body forward until you feel a stretch between your shoulder blades and throughout your entire spine. So your toes are tucked in, feeling slightly uncomfortable, go back with your hips, relax, find your child's pose, and then try this again. So try it a few times until it becomes really comfortable. You see how round your back is here? Once again, forehead onto your knees or as close as possible, and then shifting our hips up and pressing them forward. Arms are fully straight. Wherever they can reach. Beautiful. All right. That was a very lovely experiment. And from here, go ahead and release that. Place your hands on the floor and shift your hips all the way up. And we are in down dog. This is the first down dog of the day. Shift your hips gently side to side. Your spine should definitely be much more open, and hopefully it is actually open mostly in your mid-back. Beautiful. Release your right leg up as high as you feel comfortable, and from here, go ahead and draw that right leg, placing it between your hands. Beautiful. All right, your hands are still on the floor. Feel free to use the block here if you need to. Press your hips back so that you're pressing that left heel as far back as possible. Nice. Opening up the left hip flexor. Beautiful. All right. Once again, both of your hands are going to come on top of your right knee. My left hand is on top of my right. I'm pressing my chest forward. I'm straightening my arms as much as I can. My back is arched. Now I'm going to tuck my tailbone under once again. I'm going into this cat. And again, I'm going into cat, dropping my hips further down. And cat again, tucking my tailbone under. My legs are almost shaking one last time. Inhaling, opening up cat through your spine. And cat with an exhale. 
Beautiful. Drop your hands back on the floor. Reach your right leg first up and then bend that knee and rotate it so your knee is pointing toward the ceiling. Press your left hip, hip sorry, and down and right one up. Your left heel is on the floor. Nice. Drop that right foot back on the floor. Inhale, left leg rises. Reach it as high as it would go. And from here, left foot comes forward. Settle in. Find your distances, find your angles, and press your hips back. So you're pressing that right heel as far back as possible. Establish your balance. Establish your left foot. And right hand over left on top of your left thigh. Opening up right away. Hips are very square and we will soon know how square they are. All right, inhale, lift through your chest. There's your cow on the spine. And exhale, round your back to your chin. Right hip flexor is really feeling it. Inhale, drop your hips further down. You should definitely be opening up, shoulders back. And exhale once again, press those hands really deeply into that left knee. One last time. Inhale, open, 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 open. And exhale. Beautiful. Hands are back on the floor. Left leg rises up. And then we bend that left knee, sending it toward the ceiling, pressing the right heel into the mat. Right hip is below the left. One more breath. Drop the left foot back on the floor. Drop your knees. <coughs> I still have my blanket there. And once again, you're sliding your hands forward into a puppy. Once again, feel free to use the block to either use it for your arms so you can drop your chest further or to rest your forehead. If you are opening up, you may want to use the block at a higher side. Gently shift your hips side to side. Good, and lift. And we are back in tabletop position. Release the block. Roll your shoulders up, back and down. We're not going to have a lot of trouble around this here today, but I want you to feel how we're opening that through that chest, dropping the elbows down, leaning and reaching the chest between the hands. Stay here. Press back. Two more times, just like that, nice and slow. So your move is almost diagonal. So you're diving with the chest forward and then you're lifting it up until your hands are under your shoulders. Let's try that again. Inhale, arch your back. Chest is open, chin is forward. Elbows are rotating towards you. Ribcage, grabbing your ribcage neutral. And drop it down. And press it back up. Watch your shoulders to not coming out all the way to your ears. One last time. Inhale, arch your back. And exhale, drop it down. Pull your shoulders back. Your chin is forward. This is hard. Inhale. Exhale all the way back up, shift your hips back, and we are in down dog. Yes. Excellent. Right leg rises once again, and bring it forward. Step your left foot forward, and remove the blanket, I will need it. So step your left foot slightly forward, we'll take your left heel and straighten your right leg. All right, whole bunch of rotations now that our mid back is very open. First and foremost, let's open up our right hamstrings. 
So if you can, please place both of your hands on top of your right shin and on top of each other. So this is the balancing part. Pull your shoulders back gently and drop your chest as low towards your shin and towards your right knee as you can. Good. Lift up halfway. Reach your right arm all the way up. Nice big rotation. Place your right hand back. Place both of your hands on your um, right calf so that you know, your left hand is on top of your right hand. Bend your right knee. Press your body forward. Release your left heel. Inhale and then an exhale. Forward fold again. So your hands are really not in the game anymore. And again, lift. Lunge and exhale down. Right leg is working really beautifully. One last time. Inhaling or opening up and exhaling down. Hands come back on the floor. Step your left foot slightly back. Release your right leg once again. Reach it up, bend and rotate. You're really opening up your hip flexor. It's a beautiful spinal twist. Right foot comes back down. Left leg rises first. Inhale. Look in front of you. It always helps. Place your right foot between your hands. Step your left foot between your hands. Step your right foot slightly forward. Rotate your heel. Straighten your left leg. Place first your left hand and then your right hand on your left shin. Inhale. Pull your shoulders back. Exhale. Drop. Definitely starting to feel here in the left hamstrings. Relax through your shoulders and through your neck. Remember, this next one is definitely going to be balancing the challenges. So if absolutely have to, you can always place your right hand on the floor. Otherwise, lift up through your chest, pressing both of your hands into the shin and lift your left arm all the way up. Rotate. Left arm is straight above your right. Beautiful, nice long line. Good. After your third breath, release that left hand back down. Position your hands now on the back of your left legs, so right on the calf, and start to bend that left leg, coming forward into the chest, release your right heel, and then go back into forward fold. And again, inhaling forward, and exhaling back. One last time, inhaling forward, and exhale back. Hands are back on the floor. Step your right foot slightly back. Left leg rises. Then you're going to bend that left knee and send it all the way back. All right. Once again, we're going to need our block here. Place your left foot back on the floor. Right leg rises. Bend your right knee. And we're going to come into a very active pigeon. So your right knee is bent, your right shin is on the floor, and you're going to go ahead and come with your left knee on the floor and bring this block right in front of you. I want you to press into your block with both of your hands, lifting through your chest, dropping the left hip down, really engaging your glutes and your back muscles. Breathe. Without losing um, the activity in your hips, you're going to place your uh, block a little bit further forward. We're going to lean forward, placing the forehead on it. And then I want you to release your arms behind you. Fingertips start up, fingers are apart. You're really pressing the shoulder blades together. The right hip is working really hard here. If you can, 
Tuck your left toes and straighten the left leg. One more breath here. Nice. Left knees back on the floor. If it was lifted, release your left toes. Lift up like you're really pressing on your arms or lifting you through this. And now release your hands and relax. And again, feel free to just rest your um, forehead on the block or on the blanket. Whatever works, relax. And this time, this is just a stretch. Enjoy. 30 seconds here. I want to make sure that we are in more time. Beautiful. Pull your shoulders back, release your neck. Place your hands back on the floor. Tuck your left toes, inhale. Then with an exhale, gently release back and right leg is going to go first up. Then you're going to place it on the outside of your left foot. Good. Rotate. And for next three breaths, let's open up. Hips are up. Beautiful arch. Another one of those spiral moves with the shoulder engaged. Good. Perfect. Right hand comes back down on the floor. We rotate. Right leg first up and with an exhale down. Left leg rises. Good. Look in front of you. Come forward. Rotate your left knee. And gently place that left shin on the floor. Settle in here first. Right knee in the first on the floor. I want you to find all the angles, everything that is necessary for this. Opening things up. Good. Now from here, once again, you're going to bring the block and you're going to rest your forehead on the block. Your left hip is off the floor. Everything is very active. And you're going to raise your arms behind you for three breaths. If you can, keep your right knee off the floor. If it's too hard on your left hip, don't. Drop your right knee on the floor. Lift up. Lift up like somebody's pulling you back by your arms. Open up. Everything is in the upper and mid-back here. Nice. And then place your hands back on the floor and actually become heavy. Relax. Find your very inactive, very relaxing position. That is Suddenly, so much more appreciated after having to use our legs in a completely different way here, isn't it? So please enjoy, please breathe. One more breath. Beautiful. Walk yourself, uh, wake yourselves up. Draw your hands back in. Tuck your right toes. Inhale. And exhale. Gently round your back as you're reaching that left leg now, placing it on the outside of your right foot. We're reaching our left arm over arch. We need to pull that whole thing up. Imagine that there's a wall behind you. Beautiful. Release that left hand comes on the floor. 
the left leg goes all the way up first and then back down and then once again bending our knees walking our hands all the way into the duck On here, gently releasing knees on the floor, and then we're going to go ahead and lie down. Keep everything ready here. We're going to go pick a plow. So this is what I want you to go ahead and do. Place the blanket like so under the main part of your body, and your head is going to be off of it. All right, and then. Using your core muscles, your back muscles, and your way, you're going to go ahead and lift. If you need to catch your hips here, please do keep your knees super bent. No looking side to side. Find a position that is the most natural for you. Once again, no looking side to side, no movement in the, in the neck, and then very gently, you're starting to lift a little bit further up. You're either using your hands to help you or not. Tuck your toes and start to straighten your legs. Maybe first one leg at first, then the other. And each way you get there, I want you to take your time. Yes, your spine is really open, more so than normal. So you should definitely get slightly deeper than normal. And I want you to feel very comfortable here. You can go as deep as you feel comfortable. We're here for another 25 seconds. If you feel like lifting all the way up, supporting your spine, resting on your shoulders, this is your opportunity to do so. Otherwise, just relax. And wherever you are, whether you're planning on challenging your core or not, go ahead and gently bend your knees. And slowly but surely relaxing your shoulders, you're going to go ahead and bring the spine back on the mat. Very nice. There are three variations for the next one. Variation number one. You're keeping your blanket exactly as is. Variation number two, you are rolling the blanket and you're repeating what we did in the beginning. Variation number three, you actually place your block, whichever side you want, under your mid back. Either variation is perfectly great. I encourage you to try all three of them and see which one agrees with you the best. And we're going to do the exact same thing as before, where we're bending our feet, all right, sorry, knees and feet on the floor, bending our arms at this 90 degrees. And we're trying to reach our elbows to the floor and very gently we are sliding those arms as far with bent elbow above our head as it would go. Whichever variation you're in, I need you to place you the soles of your feet together and drop your knees to different sides. Once again, I want you to concentrate on the arch in the mid back. If any of that makes your lower back uncomfortable, please make appropriate adjustments.
Beautiful. Go ahead and release that left knee and send it over to the right side of your body, whether you're on the block or on the mat. This should feel like a nice and wonderful twist. This is a final twist for our uh, for the practice today. Good. Take both of your knees, lift them up, and rotate to the left side. Please make a note of which side feels which way. All right, bring both of your knees back up. Reach your arms all the way up. One last wonderful stretch right here in your rib cage in the top and sides. Beautiful. And either using your core muscles or you can roll off of it, whatever it is that you're lying on. And I want you to go ahead and lift up. We're going to check and see how we're feeling here. One last thing, one last time. Knees are going to be on our blanket. Hips are going to be right about our knees. And for the last time, we're going to go ahead and stretch your our arms wide and far and long. And we're going to draw our chin in our chest as low as we can through the open shoulders. So the open mid back, one more breath. Beautiful, lifting up, walking or sliding our hands back in, sitting nice and calm in our kneeling position. Close your eyes, bring your hands to your heart center. Hopefully smile. Have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for joining me today. Namaste. Very much hope to see you back next time. Love virtual. Thank you.